What's up guys, it's me, Tiff, and it looks like some Celsius creditors are finally getting their customer claim codes, so today I'm going to walk you through step by step how to claim your Celsius crypto distribution via PayPal or Venmo. Just to be clear, not all creditors have received their claim codes yet. I personally have not received mine. I am waiting patiently. But my new friend Brandon Park, who actually recognized me at Trader Joe's, hi Brandon, sent me screenshots of every step of the process from you receiving your claim code to actually accessing your crypto on PayPal or Venmo. So first off, if you haven't gotten your customer claim code yet, look out for an email from no-reply at cases-cr.stretto-services.com. You can either search for this exact email address or just at least double check to make sure your email is coming from this exact email address. The subject line of the email is you have a Celsius claim in ETH available at PayPal or Venmo. According to the email, each crypto asset you're entitled to as part of your claim distribution will have a unique claim code. So in other words, in case you don't remember, we're all being paid out in a combination of Bitcoin and ETH no matter what other coins you held in your Celsius portfolio. So if you had other coins in your Celsius account like Solana, Matic, Aave, etc., don't expect like 10 different emails. All of our crypto was already converted to Bitcoin and ETH for these distributions. So you should expect two separate emails, one with a Bitcoin claim code and one with an Ether claim code. Don't freak out just yet if you've only received one email so far. Like if you've only received an ETH claim code, this creditor Brandon received his email several hours apart. So again, be patient before you have a total meltdown. We should all receive both of our claim codes within the first two weeks of February. And just to be clear, for those of you who haven't been paying attention to this process, we are not withdrawing our crypto from the Celsius app. Apparently, US users receiving this email are able to claim their crypto on either PayPal or Venmo. However, once you decide to enter one of your claim codes into either PayPal or Venmo, both of your crypto claims must be completed on the same platform. So in other words, you can't withdraw your Bitcoin in PayPal and your ETH in Venmo. You have to pick one, either PayPal or Venmo, and you have to stick with it for both of your crypto claim codes. So now let's walk through how to claim your crypto distribution step by step. First of all, if you do not have an active account on either PayPal or Venmo, please create an account and make sure the information on that account matches the information in your Celsius app. Number two, after logging into your account on either PayPal or Venmo, whichever you decide to use, I'm going to use PayPal for this example. Navigate to the crypto section. So on PayPal, you click finances, then click crypto and scroll down until you see the section where it says PayPal slash Celsius, have a Celsius claim code. You can redeem it here. Then obviously click redeem claim code. You'll be asked to enter your claim code and your date of birth. And if you have not already enabled cryptocurrency on PayPal or Venmo, you'll be asked to complete the identification steps and accept the terms of service. For example, Brandon had to input his date of birth, his social security number, and his residential address. He then had to verify and scan his photo ID or driver's license, and from there he was able to access his crypto. Brandon said that when valuing his crypto at today's prices, he received about 27% of his crypto back. I also just wanted to thank Brandon for sending me all of these screenshots because, again, I personally have not received my customer claims codes, and I believe the majority of us have not yet received them. According to Celsius, all customer claim codes should be sent out within the first two weeks of February, so I am just waiting patiently before I freak out, and you should also wait patiently as well. I also wanted to mention that now that these Celsius distributions are live, there will probably be an increase in phishing attempts. So again, double check to make sure your email is coming from no-reply at cases-cr.stretto-services.com because I don't want to see anyone else get scammed again, and that's also why I wanted to thank the sponsor of this video, Aura. I personally think Aura is incredibly useful to keep Celsius creditors safe from these phishing attempts. In case you don't remember, early on in Celsius's bankruptcy, there was a massive third-party data breach. One of Celsius's vendors, Customer.io, leaked all of Celsius customers' email addresses and personal information. This leaves Celsius customers particularly vulnerable to phishing attempts, hacks, and overall just having your personal information leaked on the internet. A ton of Celsius customers have been messaging me screenshots of phishing attempts that they've been receiving. For example, apparently there are a ton of emails going around around from scammers pretending to be Celsius asking you to connect your crypto wallet or to click on sketchy links. So first of all, watch out for these emails. Make sure the emails are actually coming from Celsius.network or from the official Stretto website. But also, this is where Aura can be incredibly helpful and also why I don't think I've been receiving any of these phishing emails. Aura is basically an all-in-one data security and identity theft protection company that protects you from scammers and hackers by constantly scanning the web in the dark web for your sensitive information like your emails, passwords, social security number, etc., and alerts you immediately if it finds any of your personal information leaked out there on the internet.
internet and automatically requests removal for you. Aura's actually found a ton of my personal information, like my passwords, my home address, and my phone number leaked out there on the internet, and they've automatically removed it for me. So I actually personally use Aura. I actually pay for a monthly subscription, and you can see my account right here where I'm getting notified that they've removed my information from another website. And I pay for Aura not because they're the sponsor of this video, but because I actually find the service incredibly valuable. Aura's also got a ton of other useful features like a password manager, a VPN, antivirus software, financial fraud protection, they watch my credit score, identity theft protection, etc. all wrapped into one package so you don't have to pay for like eight different subscriptions to things. Aura's got 4.7 stars on Trustpilot, they were rated the number one identity protection service on security.org, they were ranked the number one identity theft protection service by US News in 2023, and they were on the best identity theft protection services on Forbes in 2023. So again, I love Aura. I literally pay for the service out of my own pocket every single month, but they're offering my followers a two-week free trial at Aura.com slash Tiffany or using this handy little QR code right here. I highly recommend you try it, especially if you're a Celsius creditor, because we're all particularly vulnerable to these hacks and scams. Anyway, thank you to Aura and back to the video. So the majority of this video was geared towards US customers receiving their crypto through PayPal or Venmo, but most international creditors should be receiving their payouts through Coinbase. Some may also receive checks in the mail in US dollars if their country is not supported by Coinbase or if they've been banned by Coinbase. But anyway, some international creditors have already confirmed that they've received their crypto distributions from Coinbase. Just make sure your Celsius account information your email, your legal name, your date of birth, etc. matches your Coinbase account information. And if you were assigned Coinbase and you still haven't received your crypto distribution, don't freak out, it could take a couple more weeks. No matter which platform is your distribution partner, Coinbase, PayPal, or Venmo, you will have exactly one year to claim your crypto distribution from the first attempt to deliver. Any distribution that's unclaimed or remains undeliverable for one year will be treated as unclaimed property and will be distributed back to creditors. Any distribution that's unclaimed or remains undeliverable for one year will be treated as unclaimed claimed property and will be distributed to other creditors. So we may get another crypto payout in the future, but I'm personally not expecting that much more back. Also, in the next few weeks, earned creditors should be receiving shares in Ionic Digital Common Stock. So we should receive an email from Odyssey in the next few weeks with more details. I will be sure to make a follow-up video on the Mining Co. stock, so stay tuned for that if you want. If you want to move your crypto off of Coinbase, PayPal, or Venmo and onto a hardware wallet and you don't have one already, I'll leave a Ledger link down below in the description box. I personally use Ledger, but you can use whatever you want. And again, I'll be sure to keep you updated as we get more information, so feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm also very active on Twitter at Tiffany Fong with one underscore. I have a Substack at tiffanyfong.substack.com. I've also been live streaming a lot, so you can find me on Twitch at Tiffany Fong TV, and I've also been streaming a lot on my second YouTube channel, Tiffany Fong TV. Anyway, I love you all so very much, and I'll talk to you all very, very soon. Bye! I went to Costco because of Tiffany Fong, and Costco's <laughs> amazing. I saved absolutely no money whatsoever. Costco, look, now I look taller than you. Costco, everybody, I don't want to plug Costco, but thanks to, I even had the hot dog. Wow, that Did was like delicious. <laughs> I then saw a video of a guy that ate nothing but the Costco hot dog for two weeks and he lost like a bunch of weight and was pretty impressed. I want to do that. Okay, so you were impressed by Costco? I was incredibly, so not to even plug Costco even more, but uh, I know a little bit about French wine, you could have guessed. There's some pretty fucking good French wine in Costco. Really? At like very attractive prices. Ooh, you'll have to show like, me which wines to buy at Costco. I like stocked up and I was just like, oh shit. Oh, okay. So Louis likes Costco. I was worried that I talked it up too much and you'd be disappointed, but I'm glad that Ooh, you were impressed. I love it. Hell yeah. Louis, you still have to set me up with someone. Oh, I'm going to do that. Are I you going to? I have a very good uh, friend who's single and who's ready to mingle. Okay. He's a bit autistic. Oh, I, that's fine with me. I know. You know that. <laughs> <laughs> I know.